Sudar Shaurav and welcome to Sudar Learning Hub. Today's session, we are going to learn about synchronized transient modifier and volatile modifier in Java programming language. Now I am discussing about synchronized. Synchronized is a modifier applicable for methods and blocks, but not for a variables and classes. If a method or block declared with the synchronized keyword, then at the time of at the time only one thread is allowed to execute that method or block or the given object. The main advantages of synchronized keyword is we can resolve the data inconsistency problems. But the main disadvantages is it increases waiting time of the threads and affects pro, uh, affect the performance of the system. Hence, if there is no specific requirements, never recommended to use the synchronized keyword. Next, I am going to discuss about transient modifier. Transient is the modifier applicable only for variables but not for methods and classes. At the time of serialization, if we don't want to serialize the value of a particular variable to meet the security constraints, then we should declare that variable with the transient modifier. At the time of serialization, JVM ignores the original value of the transient variable and save the default values that in the transient means not to serialize. Static variables are not a part of an object state, hence serialization concept is not applicable for static variables. Due to these declarations a static variables as a transient, there is no issue. Final variables will be participated into the serialization directly. By their values due to this declaration, declaring a final variable as a transient, there is no impact. Next, I am going to discuss about volatile modifier. A volatile is the modifier applicable only, applicable only for variables but not for classes and methods. If the value of the variable keeps on changing such type of variables, we can to declare with the volatile modifier. If a variable declared as a volatile, then for every thread a separate local copy will be created by the JVM. All intermediate modifications performed by the thread will be takes place in the local copy instead of master copy. Once the value got finalized before terminating the thread, that final value will be uploaded into the master copy. The main advantages of volatile modifier is we can resolve the data inconsistency problems but creating and maintaining Maintaining a separate copy for every thread increases the complexity of the programming and affects the performance of the system. Hence, if there is no specific requirements, never recommended to use volatile modifier and it's almost outdated. Volatile means the value keeps on changing, whereas final means the value never changes. Hence, the final volatile combinations is illegal to Illegal, illegal of a variables. See, volatile means the value keeps on changing, where the final means the value never changes. Hence, the final volatile combination is illegal for the variables. Next, I am going to discuss about summary of modifier. See, this public at the class level, it is applicable for outer classes as well as inner classes. And the public is accessible in method level, variable level, and interface level, enum level, and constructor level. Private is accessible for only inner classes and method level, and variable level, and constructor level. Protected accessible in inner classes and method level and variable level and constructor level default is accessible in outer classes and inner classes method level variable level and interface level and enum level and constructor level final final is the keyword 
accessible in outer classes and inner classes and the method level and the variable level abstract abstract is applicable for outer classes and inner classes and the method level and uh, interface level now strict fp it is accessible in outer classes and inner classes method level and interface level and the enum level now static static only for applicable in inner classes and the method level and the variable level and blocks blocks also available for the static block the, those are called the static blocks synchronized synchronized only for method level and blocks level negative sorry native native is available for applicable for method level only transient transient is uh, applicable for in variable level only volatile volatile is also applicable for variable level only next finally i am closing this session by the summary of the modifier the modifiers which are applicable for the inner classes but not for outer classes are private protected static the modifiers which are come which are applicable only for methods negative the modifier which are applicable only for variables transient and volatile the modifier which are applicable for constructor public private protected default the only applicable modifier for local variables is final thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons keep writing to us do not forget subscribe our channel sadot learning hub because we have many session that would help you to develop our skills and i will be back soon till then you take care bye bye